Hello and welcome to Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. I'm your host, Patty Mercer, here at the Fort Mill Fire Department's Open House. Lieutenant Boone, this is amazing. It's the open house for the Fort Mill Fire Department. Um, tell me what is going on. Well, basically, we're just opening the, house, the uh, fire department to the community, showing people what services we provide to them, basically showing them what their tax dollars are paying for, <laughs> and, to be honest. And the kids love it. Uh, the kids really get a kick out of coming out here and being able to get on all the equipment and see what we do. Well, you have really made it where it's fun, but it's also educational. So much more than just putting out fires. I mean, like behind us, this is uh, a little scary. Yes, ma'am. I, I don't know that I've ever been that close to uh, this accident situation. Yes, and yet earlier today, you were cutting the roof off of it. Yes, ma'am. That's one of the techniques that we may employ. If there were several, uh, people in that vehicle that we needed to get out at once we'd go ahead and take the roof off you've been on the job what about a month now just over a month yes and this is what you do this is a part of it yes <laughs> <laughs> no I would say that you really hit the ground running but seriously this is so vital to our community you organized this day for our community to come out and see behind the garage doors what the fire station is all about yes and to meet the people that respond to emergencies. If they call 911, these are the people that are coming to help them. Uh, the firemen themselves, being able to see the jobs that they do, meet with them, talk with them. Emergency medical services, we have a helicopter here, and that, that's huge. Uh, the Fort Mill uh, rescue is here, EMS is here. Just those people that are really responding to the emergencies that people have. Yes, because really in a state of emergency, all hands on deck. That's right. and. You, and this way, you're meeting them in the way that you would want to meet them. Right. And now, if you do have to see them and they're responding to an emergency, you actually know who they are. And then you've got a, a cute little playhouse over here with fires in the window. What What's that about? Yes, man. The, the kids really love that because it gives them the opportunity to spray with a uh, fire hose. And it's a smaller fire hose. That would actually be used for fighting forest fires but it's good enough for it's big enough for the kids to use without knocking them down so yeah. they're able to knock the flames out and oh, wow. they really enjoy that and a lot of um lessons as it relates to fire safety fire prevention yes ma'am yes, ma yeah this is uh october is fire safety month fire prevention month and we do even during the week we go out to all the different classes and we teach the kids fire safety stop drop and roll what to do when they hear a smoke alarm at night not to play with matches that sort of thing i can imagine it might be a little scary for kids in a, an emergency moment to see someone with all their gear and not understand that that's the, that's what they put on for protection yes and that's something we've been going over in the schools and that's one thing we do we have the firemen come in with no with no gear on mm -hmm. introduce them and then we slowly put the gear on so they feel comfortable with being around them who picked out the hot pink t-shirts that would be chief uh Wilkerson standing ah. behind the camera here I like them. I am so excited about this turnout today. Are you pleased? Absolutely. This is wonderful. Um, and it seems to grow every year. Yeah. Uh, we seem to reach more people and the word is getting out um, about the awesome opportunity to come to see all their community helpers. What are some of the common reasons one would need the fire department besides um, the obvious? One new thing in the last several years is EMS-based response. Um, we're doing uh, any, any type of um, EMS response that's necessary along with our EMS partners. Um, whether they're there first or we're there first, we're all providing that same level of care uh, mm -hmm. to our training. Uh, you know, car wrecks, um, knock on wood, we don't have a lot of fires. Uh, we don't have a large number of technical rescues, but when you do, you need to be prepared for them. Um, but as you look around the uh, behind, behind us in the camera, you see a, a police car, an ambulance. You have a fire truck here. We have a um, medical helicopter. Um, one significant crash could mean that all four of these agencies are on that scene working together. And how long have you served on the Fort Mill Fire Department? 16 years. 16 years. Yes, Is that the longest? That's the longest. Yes, okay. So what changes have you seen? I mean, my goodness, when we look at Fort Mill 16 years ago, yes, it, it, it's like a different place almost. 
What have you seen from your perspective? Um, we've had to go into, uh, we've been, we've gone into the medical realm of things. Uh, we've gone into the rescue, the tech rescue side of things. Uh, the biggest change is just the manpower side of things. We went from an all volunteer fire department to a combination fire department, and now we're all career. So wow. that's a that's a big change. How big in comparison to other fire departments are we? I mean, we've got so much growth. Yes, ma'am. Well, we're no Charlotte, but we uh, we have twelve. Uh, firefighters on shift now. We have a captain, uh, two lieutenants, and then we uh, we operate two uh, large apparatus, a ladder truck, an engine, and a medical vehicle with three people in it at all times, 24 hours a day. York County, Fort Mill especially, TKK, I mean all of us are growing together so I would imagine those partnerships are very, very important. Yes ma'am, those partnerships are very important. Um, it, routine basis, sometimes daily. You see us, Flint Hill, Riverview, Tiga K, Pleasant Valley, Indian Land, even across into Lancaster County, we're all working together to come to a, reach that common goal of, of providing the best service we can. How can our community help you? Um, they're doing it um, now. Um, as our tax base is growing, we have added the staffing, added the necessary equipment. Um, we've had a, a, a gracious town manager and council that has supplied the needs that we have. What's the one takeaway you hope all families will carry home with them today? That firemen are just the regular people that do outstanding work. And the work that they do, I hope they understand that, that there's nothing to be afraid of. They're there to help. And when, when the call comes, they're going to come and they're going to do a professional job. What do you love most about uh, what you do every day? Um, I think it's about helping people on their worst days. You want to you want to meet people on their best days, such as this, and that, and then we can really make an, a, an effective change in somebody's life um, on their worst day. Well, that's it for this edition of Carmen Miller's Talk of the Town, Carolinas. If you would like to see more beautiful homes in our area, simply go to homesfortmill.com. Or maybe you're thinking about buying or selling your home. Remember to call Carmen. And as Carmen likes to say, live where you love and love where you live. Until next time, this is Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.